64. GoldenEye. GoldenEye was on N64. That game was so much fun. That's on there. XD Jakey. Pancakes or waffles? Um, <laughs> pancakes, man. No question. No question at all. That's a silly question, man. Nobody picks waffles. Would you like to come to Norway and marry my grand-grandmother? And what do you know about Norway? I love you. No hetero. Um, I can tell you're from Norway because you said marry my grand-grandmother instead of my great-grandmother, unless you were saying, like, my grandmother is grand, like, or something like that uh, as another adjective. But, you know, uh, I would not like to do that. Norway sounds cool, though. You know, I'd love to go there, spend a little bit of time. Uh, the ladies there seem exceedingly attractive, the tall, blonde, blue-eyed, uh, you know, bam, wonderful people, I'm sure, very kind, and, uh, yeah, but to your actual question, I'm just throwing in a bunch of uh, niceties now, trying to make you not feel bad that I'm dumping your grand-grandma. So uh, I'm going to have to say no to that. I'm sorry. Give her the news. Try and console her to the best of your ability. But, you know, that's that's life. Hopefully she's gotten used to being rejected a few times by now because she's your grand-grandmother. Jesus. Coleman Thomas 04. Do you find hipsters to just be the most hypocritical human beings alive, or is that just me? Um, honestly, I... Never, I don't see hipsters that much unless I'm at school, but uh, even then, it seems like you hear about hipsters ten times more from people who aren't hipsters than from hipsters themselves. It's like the whole saying YOLO. Like, I have maybe heard YOLO said, like, with someone adamantly saying it because they thought it was poignant, like, maybe once or twice, ever. And that was, like, you know, probably by a 14-year-old kid next to me in the mall or something. I'm sure maybe if you're like a 13 or 14-year-old person, uh, you'll hear it a lot more. But among my friends, like, I've heard it a few times, but it's always joking. Uh, and so, but constantly there are jokes on the internet and everybody's making jokes about it. Just like, oh, YOLO, all those dumb retards who say it. It's almost like we just straw-manned and built up a whole fabrication of these retarded people that everyone can just love to hate, even though nobody actually says it legitimately. So, similarly, hipsters don't really mind them. Let them do whatever they want. If they're going to dress like complete asshats and walk around like they got some sort of swag that nobody else understands and listen to their shitty music with really bad production value and insist that that's part of the art, uh, let them do that. Let them go hog wild. I'll, I'll, you know, keep my nicer clothes and, you know, wear comfortable pants with ample room in the crotch and then, you know, it's fine, and I won't ride, you know, a bike that looks really weird and rustic and have strange facial hair patterns. Now, the more I talk about it, the more they are bothering me. Jesus Christ, why do you get me on this thing, man? Uh, so, that's how I feel. And it is not just you. That was your main question. The Man, 6781. What is your favorite genre of books and movies? Um... I'd have to say, like, fantasy, just because I like being able to see a place like Lord of the Rings or uh, Game of Thrones or something like that, and being able to envision my place or my uh, perspective of where I would fit in that story. Like, what would I do in one of these situations that I can't even begin to empathize with because none of these things really exist, you know? I think that's really interesting. I also like horror a lot, uh, just because I like to be frightened and feel that little chill go up my spine, as long as it's not for real. Like, I'm not saying, like, nobody, please nobody come to my house and be like, surprise! Like, jump out of my closet with a knife in your hand. Like, I, I scared you. You right, I scared you. I'm, I'm so glad I could make you feel feel great and scared, and because I'll probably just pee myself and be really scared uh, the bad way. But I like watching scary movies and reading scary books because I know there's no real threat, and so it allows you to look at it from a more distance perspective. Um, Judy Fio, Fio, which is your favorite nipple? left or right one. I'm going to have to go with good old Righty. He's been there for me since I was born. Uh, I have a lot of respect for him as a human being. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a cool guy. I, wanna, I've, I mean, I'd rather go out to dinner with him than the left one. The left one's just a douche. I mean, oh, he can hear me, obviously, but, you know, fuck him, man. I snooch. Do you prefer diarrhea shit or nice... Jesus Christ. I, I get enough poop questions when I do the would you rather things because people just have this crazy obsession with submitting fecal based questions that I then have to answer, so uh, I'm going to skip any poop ones, and I guarantee because I said that, everyone is going to send me a poop one next time, so god damn it, shouldn't have said that. I'll edit it out. No, I won't. I'm too lazy. Soggy weenus. <laughs> Are you happy that Terminal's coming back? Yes, I said that in a previous one. Very happy. Going to be very cool. Better than 2123. What is your take on school uniforms? Are they good for school conformity or basically useless? Um... I mean, I'm sure they're good for school conformity, but I think school conformity is a bad thing. People should be allowed to be themselves and dress however they want, to an extent. Like, if you're coming in, like, a bikini every day as a big, you know, hairy man, like, that'd be kind of weird. Uh, so that's not really appropriate. But just to, within reason, let people wear whatever they want. It's an expression of uh, their their speech and how they want to present themselves. And so let them go hog wild, I say. Well, I've said hog wild, like, four times in this video. What the hell? Is that even a saying? I'm almost positive it's a saying. Uh, yeah. 
So, school uniforms, they suck ass. I never had to wear them, even though I went to private school. And, uh, so yeah, they're useless. They're, they're not useless, actually. They're good at, uh, conforming people and making them feel like they're all the same and really enforcing a hive mind. Some, mostly of elitism because they see people who aren't wearing jer jerseys or uniforms rather and they say oh they went to go to public school I'm better because I'm rich or things something like that. So I think it's actually counterproductive. It's a bad thing. Um, do do do. D. Tulio Mike. Speak about your worst moment in your life. Um, hmm. Let me think. It's probably the worst moment in my life ever. Like, uh, I was like, it only it actually happened like, like three weeks ago, I think. So I went downstairs. My favorite beverage in the world is orange juice. I go downstairs. Uh, there's only enough orange juice left, and it was simple, uh, simply orange or whatever. The really, really dank kind. And I poured a full glass at a giant, like 10, 12 ounce glass. Had it there. Started to walk in the kitchen. Slipped and then dropped it and spilled it everywhere all over the floor and I had no orange juice for the rest of the day because I was like I'm not gonna go out and buy more orange juice just so I can have one glass that'd be ridiculous because I'd, I'd also buy more things while I was there and I'm not trying to look for an errand I just want to chill and so then I had to go upstairs without orange juice I had to grab a soda instead and soda sometimes gives me the hiccups and so then I got the hiccups and it was supremely uncomfortable for upwards of 20-25 minutes so uh, I'm, I'm honestly pissed that you made me bring that memory back so so thanks douche Okay. <laughs> Jesus, some of you guys ask a lot of questions. Um, Kyrian P, talk about genetic modification and playing God. Um, I'm in favor of it, obviously. Like, if, to, if anyone who says, like, we shouldn't modify people genetically if they're going to be born with Down syndrome because that's playing God. It's like, well, you are a heartless douche. Like, screw you. Your opinion shouldn't matter because you're clearly an idiot. Like, uh, if you want to genetically modify someone to be, like, super healthy and not have any risk of cardiovascular disease later in life, why the hell would you not do that? Like, honestly. Like, Jesus. Okay. How, how much time am I on? Oh, nice. Like, 17 minutes. Didn't know I'd been going this long. Judy Few, you are a question king, my fan. Uh, I was going to say my friend, but I said my fan. That, that, was a, that was a good word slip, and it came out, and it made me sound kind of slick. Shouldn't have brought attention to it. Um, play with Niz. Classic question with a twist. Die by burning or drowning, but you're fully conscious and feeling the pain for ten minutes. Um, I'm pretty sure if I was just thrown in an incinerator or something or being burnt at the stake, it would take a lot less than ten minutes for my whole body to just be gone. Just completely gone. Like, am I just a ghost there standing, feeling the pain? Um, I would imagine that... Hmm... Yeah, see, this doesn't really make sense. I, I'll, I'm going to say, I'm going to adapt your question and say that I feel the pain the entire time. Uh, in which case, you know, I'm pretty sure that I'd feel the pain the entire time by burning anyway, right? Like, it just seems like there doesn't get, a, get to a point, I guess. Well, I guess uh, your body goes into shock when you just experience too much pain and they just go out and you can't feel anything. Um, so, I guess I'd have to say drowning because I don't want to be staying awake the whole time as my bones and everything is just being cooked off of me. That would be pretty horrific. Uh, and drowning is just a lot less terrifying. You know, people, it's like, I, I've heard people say, like, oh, it's a peaceful way to go. And it's like, it's definitely not. That'd be horrific and painful in every conceivable way, aside from the whole heat thing of the fire, which is the big downfall over there. Uh, so I'm going to go with drowning. You know, I'm not sure what you guys would go with. So if you guys have your own idea, tell me. Would you rather burn to death or drown? Tell me right now. If you don't comment in the next 30 seconds, it doesn't count. Uh, Klein Taylor, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex. As soon as I started going through puberty, I realized that was not a feasible goal, uh, since I did not begin to develop reptilian scales or have shrinky arms or giant huge legs and huge just mandibles and massive facial features. It wasn't it wasn't going for me, and I came to terms with it. Went to a psychiatrist. Uh, he loaded me up on a bunch of pills, and you know, three weeks later, I was out of the asylum and back in school. So it's great. Uh, RMB Dog, can you do a vlog anytime soon? Uh, yeah, I could do a vlog, but I really just don't care for it. It's not that fun for me to do vlogs. I'd rather just, uh, do what I'm doing right now because I'm always self-conscious and nervous about my face, so I don't do them, you know, because I know I'm, there's always going to be jokes and people being asshats about it online, so that's the deal. Okay. Anywho, got through a good deal of those questions. I hope you guys enjoyed them as much as I enjoyed making this video. Uh, so leave a rating if you want or close this window and go back to watching pornography or whatever you were doing if you didn't like it. And uh, that's it. And I love you.